For as long as you and I can remember, organizations have been looking for definitive talents of outstanding salespeople, so they can clone them. Obviously because of the number of different organizations and different products sold, there are different thoughts on the subject, and they add to the core attributes of a salesperson, but do not change it. It is the core attributes of salespeople I want to first focus on, then those attributes that separate the men from the boys are those attributes that make an average salesperson a high-performing salesperson. Here we have what we feel is the ultimate version of talents, both car and those that distinguish the average from the superior or high-performing salesperson. Both the car and those that separate the men from the boys have been developed from research on direct hiring results over a 30-year period. We call these attributes the fabulous far. Let's begin, however, by identifying those we know as car to sell anything. Car sales attributes. Self-management, continuous learning, interpersonal skills, self-starting goal achievement. I can say quickly and without any reservation. If you are hiring salespeople, do not hire anyone who does not have at least average ability in these five car sales attributes. But many organizations cry out far more than average they want high performers. The next list is the fabulous far attributes of high performing salespeople. Car sales attributes, personal accountability resiliency, customer focus results orientation, self-management ability to prioritize and manage time, talent and effort to deliver the desired outcome within the allotted time period. There will seldom, if ever, be a superior salesperson without strong self-management talents. It is here. At the beginning that I want to share with you something said by Marcus Buckingham and Curtis Kaufman in their book, First Break All the Rules, Don't Waste Time Trying to Put Into Someone. Something that is not there, it is hard enough to get out what is already in. Bottom line here, if they don't have it don't think our great training program can give it to them. The very best you can do is make them aware of the need of self-management. Continuous learning takes personal responsibility for learning and implementing new knowledge, methods, systems, and technologies. All top salespeople are learners. The learning may not always be connected to their work, so look for evidence, both at work and at home. Ask them to name the last book they read and when they read it. If they can't name one, or it has been many months or years ago since they read their last book, you may want to pass on this applicant. Gaining new information and knowledge is a must for top salespeople. Interpersonal skills interacts with others in a positive way. How many great salespeople have you know that were introverts or negative? You sell them, if ever, hear someone say, I want to hear some more negative stuff. Few high-performing salespeople become such through timidity or negativity or both. This is usually an easy attribute to identify. Many have a high eye disc behavioral factor. Self-starting the ability to initiate and sustain momentum. This is a tough one. I always debate about whether self-starting should be the number one attribute. Certainly you seldom excel waiting for someone to use a cattle prod to get you started. Self-starting or initiative is doing it yourself. A candidate with high scars here is someone who needs no one to get them started. They wake up in the morning running. Goal achievement the ability to set pursue and achieve goals regardless of the obstacles encountered. Most of us can set goals and even pursue them, but a far smaller number achieves them. Goals without achievement are of no value. All of us should expect to encounter obstacles on the path to achieving our goals. It is here that the success formula come into play E plus R equal O. Outstanding sales. People know they have little or no control over these events in their lives, but they all know that their R's responses will determine those or outcomes and govern themselves accordingly. Craft your interview questions around responses they have delivered to achieve the most important O's in their lives. The fabulous far are next and carry a compelling name because they really pack the punch when it comes to hiring salespeople that exceed expectations. When you find a candidate with all the car attributes plus all are most of these hire them. 
they will likely be exceptional people in the sales role. Personal accountability always answerable for their personal actions. The salesperson that is personally accountable is the one that not only takes the blame for their failures, but also for their successes. Sometimes it is easier to accept blame for a failure than a success. The salesperson who has a good dose of personal accountability will likely emerge as a leader among his slash her peers. A leader and an exceptional salesperson may be too much for some to handle but most would give a lot for just such a person. Resiliency and ability to recover from adversity. An attribute that many would not even think about. This quality is an essential tool for high performance in sales. Nowhere is there more rejection than in a sales role. Having the ability to shake off a no or rejection is something many do not have. You most likely will not have a high performing salesperson without strong resiliency. Customer focus a commitment to customer satisfaction. Superior high performing salespeople all have a strong commitment to customer satisfaction. Some would be top salespeople have all except this attribute. You can't really be a top salesperson without a commitment to customer satisfaction. Results orientation the ability to identify actions necessary to complete the task and get the necessary results. What great salesperson have you known that did not have a unique ability to make it happen? Really good salespeople know the results they need and have the ability to achieve them on a regular basis. This is one of the pull me attributes that tend to pull out the best in people. They tend to maximize other talents and meld them all together so they function in a flawless way. There you have the car and fabulous far characteristics of a high performing salesperson. While there is more to being great than having talent, if you have the talent the path to greatness becomes shorter and easier to follow. Once you have the people with the right talent, the next step is making certain they have an environment where they can leverage the talent they have. For more information on how to create the environment where your people can be the best they can, 